Hey, what's up? Sammy here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the ZTE Axon 35G phone. I've been using it for some time and have a lot to say. As a pioneer for the under display camera technology, how is it exactly on this model? What about comparing to the Mimix 4 and overall using experience? I will answer all of these questions in this video. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please give it a sip and turn on the notification bell. It's free. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the screen, the ZD Axon 35G is a big phone with a 6.92-inch 20.5 to 9 Full HD Plus display, and it feels even a bit bigger given that nearly the entire front of the phone is a massive viewable display with no interferences. The display reflection rate has been improved over the Axon 20 with available 120Hz option. You can toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz or flip on the order switch for it to be handled by the phone software. For the front and the display camera, ZD bumped up the pixel density over the camera to a staggering 400 ppi compared to the 200 ppi on the Axon 20, and the improvement is considerable. I tried different wallpapers and viewed from different angles. I could only notice it from some extreme side angles. If from a normal phone use angle, you wouldn't even know where it is. And the viewing experience is awesome, whether for ebook reading or video watching. I think I can finally use the word immersive to describe everything. Under the hood, you'll find plenty to like in the ZTE Axon 35G. Powered by the Snapdragon 8070, 5 chipset and 8GB of RAM, this phone doesn't get bogged down by any action or activity. This is the Android benchmark if you are curious to know. It has smooth gaming experience like for PUBG, I set the graphics and the frame rate to high, awesome smooth and I didn't experience a single hiccup. The Axon 30 is ZTE's first phone to come with the company's brand new MyOS 11 based on Android 11. The skin is very close to stock Android, and you don't get any bloatware installed on the handset out of the box. The Z-Pop utility lets you quickly launch your favorite apps, and other typical Android customization options are present. Everything works in a snappy, satisfying fashion. The Axon 35G has the 64 megapixel Sony IMX682 sensor as its primary camera and a secondary 8 megapixel wide angle lens with a 120 degree FOB. Then you have the standard 5 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensors. The main camera has up to 20 times digital zoom plus the option to capture images in the 464 megapixel resolution if you like. It does a good job of capturing natural colors and retains a decent amount of detail as you zoom in. The shots came out pretty decent, as you would expect from a $500 phone. What I really like is the stabilization for 4K footage. As you can see, even I was on a very shaky bridge, the footage looked very stable and smooth. It's usable without editing. Here are more samples at two. What about that on the display camera on the front, as mentioned, it has no problem for reading or video watching and it's very hard to notice. But there is a problem that the image quality produced by the 16 megapixel snapper isn't quite up to scratch compared to most selfie cameras right now. Even those on budget phones, selfies captured on Axel 35G can come across as soft with a noticeably more muted color palette compared to the rear camera offering. Even in good light outdoor environments, you can see weird light diffraction circles here and there. It's just not that good. But that's the same problem with the current on display cameras, even for Xiaomi Mi Mix 4. If you don't often take selfies, it's a compromise well worth accepting, especially if you like the idea of the full screen display without a camera cutout. But if you are a selfie lover, there are better performing cameras available at a similar price. To conclude, 
The ZD Action 30 is an affordable phone with a 499 US dollar starter price that's packed with solid internal components that includes the fastest RAM and internal storage. For the price and availability, you can check out the link in the description. With that budget price, the ZD Action 30 is in the perfect middle ranger, but it certainly has a lot going for it. The 6.92 inch 120Hz Full HD Plus display is a huge selling point offering a gorgeous scrolling experience that makes everything from texting to gaming feel more responsive. And the design of the phone looks great too, even it's made from plastic and not glass. It's a big phone, but it's fairly light, so it's not too heavy to use. And of course, there's also the on-display camera to consider. While the quality of the surface cannot quite compare with the standard front-facing cameras, ZTE's implementation is far more advanced than offerings from even super expensive options like Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Overall, the Action 35G is a decent phone that has a very tempting price tag, an awesome software experience, and a cutting edge on the display camera technology. And if you are looking forward to experience that new tech without breaking the bank, this is a great middle range smartphone. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next video.